Hi Daily Grace family, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm so glad that you're here. Today we are talking about how we can put God first in the coming new year, 2023. Now, for many of us, our days rush past in a blur. We are excessively busy from the moment our alarms blare their unwelcome wake up calls, to the time our tired heads hit the pillow at night. And eventually those busy days and nights turn into weeks, weeks into months, until we come to the end of another year and look back and realize that while our career, school, or homemaking to-do list may have been crossed off, our relationship with God took a backseat to those goals and requirements. Now, if you find yourself resonating with that, trust me, you are definitely not alone. Making space to invest in your relationship with God on a daily basis and putting Him first amongst the craziness of each day takes a lot of time, habits, and a whole lot of discipline. And if you've struggled with this in your own life, there's absolutely no room for shame or regret over that. Rather, let us receive the grace that God freely gives us and work towards making space for that in the coming new year. In today's video, we are going to share with you our top ways that you can begin to form those habits and truly put God first every single day in 2023. Let's dive into them. Step number one that we suggest for putting God first in 2023 is to plan ahead and prioritize. Now, for most of us, the reason we often skip out on our intentional time with God is because we just run out of time. The reality is that most of our days will start and we may have good intentions to fit it in later on, but the hours just end up flying by. Something unplanned comes up and before you know it, it's time to wind down for the evening. Now, one of the biggest tips that we can give for spending consistent time with God is to plan ahead for when you want to fit that time in. Now for you, that can mean getting up 30 minutes to an hour earlier in the morning with a cup of coffee before work, or maybe that looks like going to a private place on your lunch break, or maybe it's right after you put your kids down for an afternoon nap. Take a step back and look at your daily schedule and figure out what is a set time that I can set aside every day to meet with the Lord. And once you've determined that time, find a way to remind yourself so it doesn't just slip by. Whether that be marking it on your calendar, adding it to a to-do list, setting a phone alarm for a certain time, or putting in a note somewhere that you'll see it. Whatever system actually works for you is the right system for you. Now there's of course flexibility with this given what each day holds, but we encourage you to make a consistent effort to form a habit of blocking off that time so that there is no excuses when it actually comes about. Step number two we suggest is to read and meditate on His Word daily. It is such a blessing that many of us have easy access to the Word of God. His Word holds the answers to any question, the comfort for every emotion, and the guide for every valley we approach. His Word is full of guidance, encouragement, and truth. And all we have to do is pick it up and dive in. Psalms 1, 1 through 3 tells us, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither, and all that he does he prospers. This verse points us back to the importance of rooting ourselves in God's word day and night so that our lives may bear good fruit in each season we are in. When we read, meditate, and delight in God and His Word and allow the gospel truths to transform us, we grow in our pursuit of Christ's likeness and deepen our walk with Him, which should always be a main goal as believers in Christ. One way we suggest doing this in 2023 is by finding a good Bible study or reading plan to hold you accountable and add insight to your time in the Word. Here at the Daily Grace Co, resources that help get you in God's Word daily just so happen to be our specialty. We have over 50 topical studies and books of the Bible studies that will help you read and understand scripture on a daily basis. We also have two different year-long study series and a free year-long reading plan that will help guide you through the whole Bible in just 365 days. If you're interested in any of these resources to help you in achieving this goal, we will have all of them linked for you in the description box below. Step number three is to let the Holy Spirit be your guide in action and word. Paul shows us in Galatians 5 that we produce fruit in our lives when we walk by the Spirit. And one major way that you can work at putting God first in your life this new year is by yielding to the Spirit in every area of your life. When we are led by the Holy Spirit, then our daily lives will display the fruit of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. Wake up every day and pray that you would reflect the Holy Spirit in the way that you live and pray that others may see Christ working in you. Let us do as Romans 12, 1 through 2 instructs us to do, and not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of our mind, that by testing we may discern what is the will of God and what is good and acceptable and perfect. Our final step, step number four, is to invite Him into the daily and mundane. 
While our earlier step mentioned setting aside a specific time to meet with God, we also want to encourage you in 2023 to invite Him into every daily moment because He truly cares for them. Psalm 37, 23 tells us that the steps of man are established by the Lord when He delights in His way. Every step and moment in our lives are ordered by the Lord. So let us remember that in the new year as we seek to find our delight in Him alone. Invite Him into your morning commute. Pray as you walk around your college campus. Talk to Him as you do the dishes. Worship as you get your kids ready for bed. Whatever those small mundane moments look like for you. He cares about the details of our lives, friends, and He is sovereign over all of them. Take a breath during the busy routine of your day and welcome Him into those moments and allow His peace and presence to impact those daily moments. And there you have it, friends. Those are just a few of the ways that you can begin to put God first in your life in 2023. We hope that these tips encouraged you and gave you tangible steps to take to invite God into your every moment and grow your relationship with Him every day. Our prayer is that by this time next year, those hours, days, weeks, and months will not have slipped by with your relationship with Him sitting on the back burner. Rather, it would be the one thing that is at the forefront of your mind and heart before all else. We are so grateful to come alongside you as we enter into another year of growing in our knowledge and love of Him. We hope that you had a Merry Christmas, have a Happy New Year, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.